Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on selecting cases in SPSS based on date or time. So taking a look at these fictitious data I have loaded in the data view in SPSS, you can see I have 20 participants, 1001 through 1020, and a pretest score, 20 pretest scores, and a variable that contains the dates when the pretest was administered and a variable that contains the time when the pretest was administered. And let's assume that I want to select cases based on a specific date range. So we can do this by going to data and then select cases. And this is what the dialog looks like by default. So you can see here I have all cases. Uh, if a condition is satisfied, you can also uh, select random sample of cases or based on time or case range. But what we want is if condition is satisfied. So we'll check that radio button and then click if. And this is what the select cases if looks like by default. And we're going to want to move down to search and then select range. And actually we'll double click that. And you can see that the range function accepts three arguments. Uh, the variable that you want to test, so in this case it'll be the pretest date, and then the low and high values. So it comes in by default with the question marks and the commas. I'm just going to delete that and move over the pretest date variable into the parentheses then a comma, and then I'm going to want to specify the first date in the range that I want. So let's assume that's going to be 4-15-2015. I want to specify that as the first date. So the way I'm going to do that is to start with date, dot, and then this is a format that we'll put in, right? This specifies the format. So the format I'd like to enter these data in is month, day, year, so MDY. That's how I want to refer to the date. So for 4-15-2015, this will be 4, 15, 15. And I'll close those parentheses and put another comma. And now I want the last date that will be included in the range. And let's say that's June 5th, 2015. So I'll do the same thing. It'll be date and then MDY, month, day, year. Open parentheses, 6, 5, 15, and close parentheses. So now this range function is configured. I'll click Continue. And before I click OK, I just want to show you the output here. I'm going to leave it at filter out unselected cases. That's what I want to do. But you could also copy the selected cases to a new data set or delete the unselected cases. But I just want to filter out the unselected. I click OK. And there's the code for that. And you can see that the dates that were not in the range that I specified are unselected. And that's indicated by the zero. So 412, 610, 67, and so on uh, are not selected, or as SPSS refers to them, unselected. So I have selected uh, indicated by one and unselected indicated by a zero. So let's say I want to do the same thing, except based on time. I want to specify a range, uh, a beginning time and an end time, and I only want to select the observations that occur inside that range. Well, first I'll clear this filter. So I'll just right click on the filter and clear. And I'll go back to data and select cases. And then go back to if condition is satisfied. And it's going to retain this range function that was in here before. But of course, I'm going to make a few changes uh, for time. So let's say that instead of pretest date, 
Here, I'll delete that. I'm going to move over pretest time. And instead of date dot month day year, I'm going to want to change this to time dot hour minute second HMS. And before I go any further, I'm going to make the same change over here. So it'll be time dot HMS over there as well. So now, of course, the values I had for the dates aren't going to work. I need to specify a time. And let's say I want only the, the administrations that occurred between noon and 4 p.m. to be selected. So looking at the format here, it's hours, minutes, seconds. So noon would be 12, comma, 0, comma, 0. And then for 4 o'clock p.m., remember we have to convert this to military time, it'll be 16, or 4 plus 12, to get to military time. And then again, 0 and 0. So this re should select all the observations that occurred between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. So we'll click Continue. And again, it brings us back to this dialog where we can decide the output, but again I'm just going to filter out the unselected cases and click OK. And you can see here that only the times between noon and 4 p.m. are selected as indicated by the 1 in the new filter variable. And the times that fall outside of noon to 4 p.m. are now labeled with the 0 in this filter variable. I hope you found this video on selecting cases in SPSS based on date or time to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.